all right so we're on aks 17 c right so we're on day um three we were on day two now we're on day three interactive notebook aks 17 c why entrepreneurs take risks now remember an entrepreneur is someone who starts their own business right they are risk takers because we i mean it's kind of cliche because you've been taught that over the years but you need to really understand what that means that means that entrepreneurs just because you start your own business you're not guaranteed to be successful right so therefore they assume risks a lot of entrepreneurs they come up with the idea to create something new because they see the need for it right an example would be um uber the concept of uber um basically put taxi cabs out of demand right because somebody said hey what if i create this app where people can access a platform and we can have drivers that are independent contractors that can serve as taxis but there's going to be so many of them that it's going to be more efficient to pick people up and take them to a destination and it can be done cheaper um in relative uh in comparison to a taxi cab right so therefore uh let's go ahead and get started on this so pictures are from the other day remember i cut the pictures out put them in here uh aks 17c so why do entrepreneurs take risks? For your test, you need to know this information. You need to know that there are four reasons. I'm gonna write this up here. There are four reasons. course I'm trying to be a little extra right now I could have just wrote four reasons but you know me I want to go above and beyond a little bit nobody's gonna outdo me when it comes to my notebook although I had a student yesterday show me her notebook which it was I right. I'm not gonna hate on her. it was I right. but that's gonna make me step my notebook game up and do what I do right because that's just what I'm gonna do so four reasons these four reasons are related to risk-taking there's four major reasons that entrepreneurs uh, take risks so I'm gonna put the first one uh, right here I'm gonna say number one here uh, I'm gonna put number two over here I'm gonna go through these in order and put three down here. And I'm gonna put number four down here. Like I said, this is my notebook, so that's just how I'm gonna do it. Um, so the first and the most important reason is, you guessed it, to make money, to make that profit, right? So I'm gonna use my green pen here and I'm gonna draw some dollar symbols, right? Draw some money symbols here. Because it's all about the money, all about the Benjamins. And I'm gonna write profit underneath that. So that's what we're talking about here, profit. This is the number one reason that people wanna start their own business, that they wanna take risks. They're not taking risks to say, hey, I'm gonna start my business and I wanna make the least amount of money possible. Nobody says that. They wanna start their own business because they wanna be more profitable and make more money than they were previously, right? So profit is the number one reason by far. And then I'll go back and I'll color it and make it decorative and all of that. But for right now, just for your sake of getting these notes down, profit the number one reason by far that entrepreneurs want to start their own business the second reason and these are in no particular order other than profit because profit by far is the number one reason but the number two reason is to be what's known as innovative they want to innovate i want to write this down to be 
innovative. Make sure I got my marker over here for this for the next uh, setup over here. Innovation. So go ahead and get this down and we'll talk about what this is. Innovation. 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 My T up here, I'm running out of room, but that's all right, I want to deal with it. Innovation. Put my I over here. My O connected to that. Finish my T. And then I got my N over here. I saved myself a little bit of space, but that's fine and dandy. That's what I mean by that notebook swag. Y'all see the drip? Y'all see that notebook drip? Y'all better follow me. All right, so innovation. So what does the word innovate mean? To innovate, that means we have to come up with something new or improve upon something that already exists. So a good example of this would be um, cell phones. And I'm just gonna draw, I'll write cell phones as an example here. Cell phones. The first cell phone was pretty big, right? I'm gonna draw a phone here. They had number dials here. No screen because there was no camera on the phone. You can just talk, right? They had numbers to dial and then you had little small dots here. That was the speaker where you can hear the person you're talking to. And then to top things off, there was a huge antenna that you pull up right so this is representing my first or the first cell phone now over the years this was huge by the way i'm going to write this one weighed eight pounds the very first cell phone imagine keeping that on you eight pounds worth of phone you got to pull it out before you answer you got to take the antenna up What's going on? How you doing? But think about that. You really got to know who you're talking to and want to talk to the person because at this day and time, the first cell phone, you only had 30 minutes worth of talk time. And then guess how long it took you to charge it? 12 hours. So you can only talk for 30 minutes. When the battery dies, you got to charge it and it takes 12 hours to charge. So think about that person that's calling you. You didn't accept everybody's phone call. You had to be very important to take up my 30 minutes, right? But once again, that was the first cell phone. But over the years, cell phones started to get smaller, right? Now we have the iPhone. So I'm just gonna draw this here. We have, I'm gonna try to draw an iPhone. I'm not an iPhone user. I still have an Android phone. Don't hate on Android. Android is actually better than Apple, but we're not gonna go there. So I'm gonna have the little button here. And then of course you got your screen. You got your screen. And then you, this is a little skinny phone, weighs like a few ounces. But nevertheless, you can go online. That's the thing now, you can go online on your phone, you can text on your phone. You could not text on the first cell phone. You can speak, of course, on here to people. You can do face-to-face -face with people, right? So a lot of different options on here. You can print from your phone. You got wireless set up, right? Wireless. And you even have Bluetooth, right? Bluetooth, you can send files Bluetooth, or you can even, with the iPhone, you can use your AirDrop feature. To, to get information out. So all of these things are innovative, right? They are new things. It's the same phone in terms of the actual phone, but the capability of that phone, you can do all kinds of uh, a range and variety of things, right? So therefore going from here to here in this day and age, this may have been like 1979, right? 
this is 2020. This is what we call innovation, being able to do more with ideas and creation. So that's another, that's one of the reasons. That's the second reason that entrepreneurs take risks. They want to improve upon goods and services, make them better, right? Appeal to people. Now I'm going to use another color. Uh, the next one for the third reason, I'm going to use my red pen, right? So four reasons. First being profit. That is by far the most important reason because people want to make more money, right? They're in it for the money. Uh, innovation, people want to come up with new things. Entrepreneurs want to develop new products to see if they can um, innovate and push us beyond where we used to be yesterday. So yesterday, 1979 represents this huge phone, right? Outdated phone, but 2020, we're in a new era, new age. All right, so the third thing that entrepreneurs uh, do in terms of risk taking or reasons that they take risk is to create jobs. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write create jobs, create jobs. I don't know I'm being extra, but Hey, y'all just going to have to deal with it. Step your note game, notebook game up. I need to get on my level might have a prize for whoever has the best notebook. I used to give students gift cards. Whoever had the best notebook, give them a gift card to Duncan or somewhere like that. But we're in, not in a physical setting, so I have to come up with another incentive for you guys. All right, so creates jobs. Creates jobs. So an example of this, a few examples that come to mind, and I'll probably print their pictures out and put those in my notebook as well, but create jobs. So we can talk about LeBron James, right? Or Jalen Rose, the both uh, basketball players. Jalen Rose, a former basketball player, of course. King James still playing, although he plays for the Lakers now. Used to play for Cleveland Cavaliers, right? When he was in Cleveland, he's from Cleveland, he poured money into his own business, but his business was like a nonprofit that benefited the community, right? So he built this school for kids to go to that um, they can learn different trades and they can learn 21st century occupations and skills. And ultimately he funded scholarships for these kids that made it into this school to go to college, right? now. The creating jobs portion of this, LeBron James, when he played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, the city in general was um, changed by his presence just being in Cleveland. For instance, he donated a million dollars every year to the school district, to the Akron School District. Um, but for his personal school, think about it, he builds uh, a couple of schools, three schools in the area. Those schools have to hire teachers. Those schools have to hire administrators. Those schools have to hire counselors. They have to hire a cleaning staff. So whenever people create businesses, they have to have workers, right? So therefore, that's one of the reasons that entrepreneurs take risks. They do it because maybe they want to create jobs within their community, right? Uh, another example of this would be uh, the late great Nipsey Hussle right the rapper from los angeles uh, his marathon clothing line he could have put that anywhere he could have put it in beverly hills and hollywood he could have went to miami with his clothing line but where did he go right there in south central los angeles crenshaw he put his store right there in the middle of the hood he could have put his store anywhere but the purpose was to create jobs for his community right so the people that he grew up with the people that occupied the area that he grew up with he wanted to better them by having jobs available for his community so that was one of his reasons for creating marathon clothing right marathon continues shout out to nipsey hustle and the last of the risk-taking reasons number four let me use another color for this is going to be what do I want to use? Blue, I use green, I use red. I think I'm gonna use this off blue color again. 
The fourth reason, the last reason, and these are in no particular order, remember, except for profit. The last reason is going to be to make society better. So I'm gonna to write to better or to improve, either one, I'm gonna write improve, to improve society. To improve society. Improve. Running out of space here, but that's all right. I'm gonna make it do what it does. Improve. Let me even come through here. Boom, boom. See how I did that? See how that worked out? Improve society. My S here. My S back around. Society. S O C. I E T Y. Now sometimes I might misspell something. Make sure y'all don't laugh at me. Teachers sometimes do that. Everybody does that. I try not to though. I try to be the good example for you all. Improve society, right? So what are some examples of jobs that are improving society? So we're talking about jobs like, um, let me use my red pen for this. We're talking about like Red Cross, American Red Cross. And even at South Whitney High School, you remember some, they used to have the blood drive, right? For Red Cross. I'm gonna write the, draw the little Red Cross here, symbol. And underneath I'll probably write that Red Cross. And remember, why why is this improving society? Because people that are injured in some cases or need blood transfusions, they rely on people's blood. They So therefore they have a business, American Red Cross, their sole job is to help society. They re uh, recruit volunteers, pay them uh, a, a fee for exchange for their blood, right? So therefore they can help people uh, who need blood transfusions. Um, and other different medical ailments, right? So they can help people. The whole goal being to help people. So Red Cross is definitely one that comes to mind. The, another example could be, what do you do with your clothes when they get old? Or if you just wanna donate clothing, where would you take them? A couple places, right? You can take them to Salvation Army, or you can take them to, I'm gonna use my blue pen for this one. You can take them to the Goodwill, right? Take them to the Goodwill. Goodwill. And the whole notion behind this is Goodwill will discount those clothing items that you take to them, or it doesn't have to be clothing. It could be computers, laptops, phones. They'll take anything of value, right? And it doesn't have to be super valuable. It just, have, it just needs to have some kind of use that is affiliated with that product. But the whole goal is for to provide people with clothing at a um, lesser charge right in terms of price so therefore it's helping the community those who can't afford to rock a gucci bag or go buy jays or go buy whatever they have options at the goodwill that can help them so those are two really good examples of improving society um so once again i'm going to go through my notebook clean it up i just wanted to show you all get the notes down but I got to swag my notebook out a little bit, make it look nice, but you all get the drift. So the four reasons profit being the most important because that's what most people start. That's what most entrepreneurs want. They want profit and they want to make more money. So that's what's really motivating them to take a risk. Number two, innovation. Some uh, people that want to start businesses want to create something new to push us forward in society. So think about the cell phone example. Phone that weighed eight pounds, the first uh, phone, only had 30 minutes talk time and it took 12 hours to charge. So we went from that all the way to iPhone, face recognition, Bluetooth, text, face-to-face uh, -face conversations in terms of FaceTime, wireless, Bluetooth, 
we can get online on our phones we can do everything through our phones we can pay through our phones we don't even have to go to stores everything we do is through our phones that's what you call innovation job creation a third thing creating jobs uh, once again Nipsey Hussle um, LeBron James Jalen Rose great examples because they're creating jobs they're starting businesses starting schools starting these different ventures in certain neighborhoods to create jobs for their community within those neighborhoods and the fourth thing improving society goodwill Red Cross great examples improving society helping people in the community that's another reason that entrepreneurs take risks I hope this video helps you in terms of the four reasons that entrepreneurs assume risk and stay tuned because there's another video coming for AKS 17 D going to talk about opportunity costs until next time peace